that how can I prove that Jesus wasn't crucified, peace be upon him? The Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, 157, they killed him not, neither did they crucify him, it was only made to appear so. So Quran is clear, Wama katalu, wama salabu. They killed him not, neither did they crucify him. If I have to prove to... Are you a Christian, brother? I am. If you read the Bible, it's mentioned in the Bible in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 38. When people come to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and tell him that, Oh, Master, show us some signs. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, replies, E evil and adulterous generation, seek it the after a sign, no sign shall be shown to you except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Brother, do you know the story of Jonah? Jonah, Jonah. I do. Do you know? Now, Almighty God tells Jonah that go to Nineveh. Jonah being a prophet of God, he says the people of Nineveh, they will not understand, they will not listen to me. He goes to Joppa. It's useless going to Nineveh. So while he's going in the ship, in a boat to Joppa, there's a storm that comes into the sea. This is mentioned in the book of Jonah. Book of Jonah, less than two pages. At that time, there was a superstition that the storm in the sea is due to some person not obeying the commandment of the master. So Jonah being a prophet of God, he volunteers. I'm the one who is disobeying my master. And at that time, it was a superstition that if you throw the person in the water, the water will become calm. So Jonah volunteers. I am disobeying my master, throw me overboard. I am asking you the question, when Jonah was thrown overboard, was he dead or alive? Jonah, when he was thrown overboard into the sea, when the storm comes, was Jonah dead or alive? He was he's alive, alive. Alive, very good. When a person is thrown in the sea, where there is a storm, a person ought to die. Was Jonah dead or alive when he was thrown in the sea? He was alive. Alive. If he dies, no miracle. At storm, a normal person dies. He's alive, it's a miracle. A fish comes and gobbles him up. A fish comes and swallows him up. When the fish swallows him up, was Jonah dead or alive? Alive. Alive. Three days and three nights, the fish takes him around the sea. In the belly of the fish for three days and three nights, Jonah prays to Almighty God. While he was in the belly of the fish, was Jonah dead or alive? Alive. Alive. Alive, alive, alive. The fish vomits him out. Jonah comes onto the show. Was he dead or alive? Alive. 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 Alive, 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 alive. Miracle of a miracle of a miracle of a miracle. I'm asking you the question. When Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, according to the Bible, when he was taken down from the cross, he was put in the grave, in the sepulchre. In the sepulchre, was Jesus dead or alive? He was dead. 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 If he's dead, does he fulfill the sign or not? But he was raised to birth. In the sepulchre, in the grave, was he dead or alive? Dead. Dead or alive? Dead. If he was dead, is he fulfilling the prophecy? Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, No sign shall be given to you except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. If Jonah was alive for Jesus Christ to fulfill the prophecy, peace be upon him, he should be dead or alive? Dead or alive he should be. He should be alive. He should be alive and he was alive. Why do you say he was dead? Are you trying to say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, lied? If you say he was dead, that means you are saying Jesus was a liar, knows Billah. That means Jesus was alive. What has been told to you by the church is wrong. Do you believe in the church or do you believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? But the Bible says Jesus was dead. Where does it say? Give me the reference. I'm not, a, not that much known. By but do you know the sign of Jonah, yes or no? Yeah. Was Jonah dead or alive in the belly of the fish? He was alive. So Jesus Christ has to be dead or alive in the earth. But why it is not mentioned in the Bible that he was alive in the... It is mentioned. Where does it say he was dead? It was assumed the Roman soldiers thought he was dead. They poked a spear. They poked a spear, but he was alive. So if you see my video cassette, Was Christ Crucified? There are umpteen numbers of proofs. I gave you one proof. 
Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did not say that, you know, I gave life to the dead, therefore I am a man of God. He put all his eggs in one basket. As Jonah was dead or alive, you are saying Jonah was alive, peace be upon him. So Jesus also, peace be upon him, has to be alive. Why do you say he's dead? Just because the priest told you. So do you believe more in the priest or do you believe in the Bible? I believe in the Bible. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, or the priest? I do believe in Jesus. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, As Jonah was in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth. So Jonah was dead or alive? Jonah was alive. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has to be dead or alive? So the Bible still says he was dead and he raised back to life. Where does the Bible say? I have to find it. But what I am telling you, Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 38. You know the sign of Jonah, no? I do. That time you were dead or alive? Alive. So when you know the sign of Jonah and you don't know where it is said he's dead, you have to follow what is in red letter. There are many things which are mentioned by Paul, which is not part of the sayings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If you know there is something like a red letter Bible, red letter Bible means whatever Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said is in red ink. If you quote me something in black ink, I will not believe. Why? That is not the word of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Do you give more preference to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, or St. Paul? Jesus Christ. What I'm quoting to you is in red. Gospel of Matthew, note it down. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 38. So don't get me a quotation of back ink. To prove this wrong, you have to get me a quotation in red ink. That's what Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said. I request you to go home, read the Bible, and when you're convinced, inshallah, come to the truth.